2026 is approaching fast, and we may be staring at the most insane IPO ever recorded, because SpaceX is now reportedly targeting a $1.5 trillion valuation. Yes, trillion with a capital T. And for the first time ever, Elon Musk has openly confirmed it. For years, Elon Musk was firmly against taking SpaceX public. So what changed so suddenly? And how do we know this isn't just speculation? Well, that comes from reporting by Eric Berger at Ars Technica, who published an article stating that after resisting the idea for years, SpaceX now plans to go public, and Elon himself confirmed it by saying that. As usual, Eric's reporting is accurate. This is a huge development. So let's dig further into Eric's article that Elon seemingly fully agrees with. And to set the stage, we've heard whispers over the past few days that SpaceX could be preparing for an IPO soon. Something people have asked about for years, but never believed would become reality this quickly. And this article finally lays out some real details, as the Wall Street Journal and the information first reported last week about a possible IPO, with Bloomberg following up suggesting SpaceX could target a $1.5 trillion valuation, allowing the company to raise over $30 billion, which Eric points out would be an absolutely massive amount of capital. The largest IPO ever took place in 2019 when Saudi Arabia's state-owned oil giant Aramco went public and raised $29 billion. And in terms of revenue, Aramco ranks among the top five companies globally. Yet as Eric notes, SpaceX may now be positioned to rival or even surpass that scale. But the critical question remains, why now? Eric writes, quote, why would Musk take SpaceX public at a time when revenues are exploding due to the rapid expansion of the Starlink satellite internet network? The move is unexpected because Musk has historically opposed public markets for SpaceX, having disliked the scrutiny faced by Tesla and fearing that shareholder pressure would clash with his ultimate ambition of making humanity multiplanetary. However, if you've been paying attention to Elon's recent posts, the clues were already there, and they all point to data centers. Eric Berger reports that after speaking with multiple people familiar with Musk's thinking, much of this decision appears to revolve around artificial intelligence. Eric explains that a major shift over the past several years has been the rise of AI, which Musk has been deeply involved in since co-founding OpenAI in 2015. After falling out with his partners, he later launched his own AI company, XAI, in 2023. While at Tesla, he has aggressively pushed autonomous driving and more recently robotics, believing these technologies are converging in the near future in a way that could fundamentally reshape civilization. Raising massive amounts of capital over the next 18 months would give Musk unprecedented resources to deploy through SpaceX as he positions himself at the center of this technological convergence. And this is where Elon actually hinted at this back in October, something I admittedly missed, as Eric writes. How does SpaceX fit into this picture? In the short term, the company plans to develop a modified version of Starlink satellites to act as the foundation for orbital data centers. Musk confirmed this himself on X in late October, following an Ars technical article discussing autonomous construction of large-scale data centers in space, to which Musk responded by saying Starlink satellites could be adapted for that role explaining that simply scaling Starlink V3 satellites with high-speed laser links would work, and that SpaceX will be doing this. Once again, Ars Technica appears to be pulling critical information straight from Elon himself, and he later expanded that vision even further, writing that the next step would be constructing satellite factories on the moon and using mass drivers or electromagnetic. Railguns to launch AI satellites to lunar escape velocity without rockets, enabling over 100 terawatts per year of AI and meaningful progress toward a Kardashev Type II civilization. Based on projections, SpaceX is expected to generate roughly $22 to $24 billion in revenue next year, comparable to NASA's annual budget, except SpaceX can deploy capital far more efficiently. And if an IPO delivers a massive cash infusion, SpaceX would be able to accelerate dramatically, though Eric notes that designing, building, and launching space-based data centers will require enormous funding. Another insight came from longtime SpaceX employee Abhi Tripathi, who believes the moment Elon realized Starlink could become a distributed space-based data center network, the IPO became inevitable, saying that was the point an IPO suddenly made sense after being unlikely for so long. 
and that once Elon commits, he goes all in. In the AI arms race, success depends on deploying assets faster than competitors, and an IPO-sized war chest would dramatically tilt the playing field. Still, many users on X have become pessimistic, questioning whether SpaceX going public signals abandoning the Mars vision, but Eric argues that isn't the case. Elon views AI as essential to Mars, believing robots like Optimus will prepare the planet ahead of humans, and that a financially stronger SpaceX is required to make settlement possible, especially since NASA will not fund colonization. He has long estimated it would take roughly 1 million tons of supplies, around 1,000 starships, and 10,000 launches, costing roughly $1 trillion in launch costs alone. Another motivation may be Elon's belief that humanity faces a limited window to settle Mars, whether due to economic collapse, pandemics, or asteroid impacts. With all that considered, it now seems safe to say a SpaceX IPO is truly coming. Personally, I'm not betting against Elon, and I'm extremely excited, though not everyone agrees. One space engineer argued that SpaceX going public to fund AI and orbital data centers risks pivoting the company's fate toward a dangerous gamble unrelated to its core mission, calling it a terrible idea. But Eric counters that this directly supports the Mars vision, with others pointing out the doomerism is overblown and the ultimate goal remains intact. Another big question is whether Tesla investors would get IPO priority, with some asking if retail shareholders could participate though this would be complicated due to SEC regulations. Still, Elon has previously stated that loyalty matters and that long-term shareholders of his companies would be prioritized if possible. This likely won't be the last video on the topic, but I also wanted to highlight a response from Tom Euler, SpaceX employee number one, who explained that colonizing Mars requires hundreds of starships that only fly during small windows and that the remaining months could be spent flying investor-funded data centers instead. So I want to know what you think in the comments. I may try to bring in a financial expert for a follow-up, and while I'm late to covering this, the news is enormous and incredibly exciting for SpaceX, marking a moment many of us wondered would ever come.